we stitched up a British Open berth. What's the feeling like? Um, I wasn't, to be honest, I forgot that it was a British Open qualifier. So I'm pretty, pretty happy that I played pretty well, um, obviously. But I just found out then. So hopefully um, we'll see. It might be able to hang on. Maybe not. Yeah. Been to Northern Ireland before? No. No. It'll be your first time. If you do get in the field, that'd be a fantastic experience, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, first major, obviously. It'd be... Um, be unreal. I don't. I wouldn't have any words for it. I. I don't know. It'd be so good. Yeah. So it wasn't on your mind at all. I would have thought that that thing would have been a big part of today. Yeah. Well, I obviously remember people sort of qualifying for it, but as I was out there today, I just completely forgot. I was just trying to finish second because yeah. Abraham's off, off with the lead, so yeah, yeah. we're all sort of playing second out there and um, gave myself a good opportunity. But up the last, it was yeah, just the only really poor swing of the day, and yeah, yeah. the last. So someone told you about it in there, did they? Or yeah, you? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy oh, from the, you? the Open's here, so he's like, yeah, you might just have to stick around. And <laughs> so, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. I think if there's a tie, it goes to world ranking. So after last week, it's pretty high. So um, yeah. I think I'd be pretty close. Yeah. After last week, you are now ranked higher than Dimi. How much, I guess, more important did that make last week's win? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, now it does. So, yeah, I didn't think about that, but yeah, it does now. So um, who knows? We'll see what Dimmy does. There's a, there's a few holes left, so yeah, I'm excited to see. That's a life-changing couple of weeks, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, last week to get my first win um, and then to sort of kind of in contention, kind of not up in my National Open. I was pretty excited about that and um, to have a good last round like that was um, felt really good. Did you learn much from yesterday? Um, yeah, a little bit, not to get frustrated with the rules. <laughs> um, I think up the last, I nearly got a bad ruling as well. So I was told I wasn't allowed to use the drop zone, but after five or so minutes, I worked out that I could, which I thought I could. And yeah, but unfortunately, made bogey up there, but it was all right. Yeah. Just to keep your head on. Just to keep my head on, yeah, yeah. Um, not that I was blowing up or anything, no. but sort of just fo get back to, you know, shot focus and stuff. I was sometimes, like yesterday, I sort of got away from it a bit. And, a little bit frustrated when I found out I got the penalty, etc., etc. And your stroke making and stuff, which by now, by any measure here, is getting close to world class. Yeah, um, yeah, it's nice to um, you know I play with some really good players today, Miko and Ben, um, and it was nice to sort of compare games. And I think I'm pretty close, so it's good. Yeah. What would it mean to win the Australasian Order of Merit as well? Yeah, so that's one thing I was thinking about until after last week. I think you get a European Tour card, I believe. Um, so. I mean, if I could do that, I was going to play up in Asia next year, but I think if I get that, I'll be going up Probably to Europe yeah. instead, yeah. <laughs> Northern Ireland on your yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, exactly, route. yeah. So it was a good year and sort of turning a lot better now, so, yeah. We're looking at leaderboards today and hoping that Abraham, you know, at least gave everyone a, 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 a shot. Uh, oh, no, I wasn't, not really. Um, I was sort of, I didn't look at any leaderboards through the front nine, not until I got onto a whole... Um, must have been the par five, the 14th or something, and saw it would have been nice to make a couple more birdies because I think I was tied third or something at that stage, and and uh, Abraham was about 16 or I don't know 17 under or something, so it's a bit bit out of reach, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks very much, Jake.